Hello, I'm Jennifer with Jennifer Decorates, and today's video is going to be about how to make a baby shower centerpiece, so stay tuned. So my daughter-in-law is having a baby, her first baby, a little girl, and some friends from church are throwing her a shower. And of course, when they ask for volunteers for decorations, um, yeah, I wanted to do um, a baby shower centerpiece. So this tutorial is going to be how to make um, a baby stroller, or they used to call them prams. Um, and I've worked on this for quite a while and I think um, you're gonna really like it. It's gonna be easy to do and I'm gonna go step by step. Now I have made a pattern on how to do this and I will have a PDF that you can download. It'll be on my website. But what we're gonna start with is we're gonna start with the foundation of the pram. And you could do cardboard but um, I found cardboard boxes to not be the right size or the cardboard was too thick or too thin. So what I found was, and this is um, matte board, you can find it in the art section at the craft store for a big sheet like this. It was $2.99. Of course, I went and got it when it was on sale. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to trace the pattern pieces onto this and then we're going to cut it out with an X-Acto knife. So I've got my pattern pieces traced on here and I put my mat board on a cutting board and you're just going to take your X-Acto knife and cut out your pattern. And then you have your pattern piece. I've got all my pieces cut out and you're only going to need um, one mat board with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to hot glue all these pieces together. The two pattern pieces you need are the two sides of the pram and then the middle, which is the foundation. Now this is going to be the toughest part of this project, um, but it's not too bad. So you need this to curve. So what you're going to do very gently. So you're going to kind of pop, you'll hear it make a pop sound, and just start, see how that, we're going to make it curve. And sometimes when you get to the end, it's really easy to tear it, but, all right, and just kind of do it just a little bit more. This will make it pliable to go around the curve of the pram. Now, I like to use some pins to help hold it in place until the glue dries. So start with one side, and you're going to add glue to the edges, and then we're going to attach it to the side, and we're going to pin it in to hold it. All right, we're going to start at the end and just put glue right there on the edge. Kind of do a section at a time if you can, but maybe about half. All right. And then what you're going to do is have this curve around and hit that hot glue like that. But you need those pins to pop in place to help hold everything secure until it dries. Oops, went through the side. Pull that back out and go in the middle. Okay. Do it down here and let it curve. And you might have to add more glue. Okay. There. And that's going to hold it in place. And I'm going to add just a little bit more glue down here and another pin. You won't want to use these pins again for sewing, I can tell you that. There'll be enough glue on them. And I'm just going to hold that in place for a minute, and then we'll keep moving on. All 
right, I made it around to the end and I've added extra glue. This is where I'm going to hold it till it dries. And then I'm just going to do the other side. All right, once you've got that one side done, it's so much easier to do the next side. Okay, I've got this all glued together. Um, let me stop you for one second. The reason I'm doing the thick mat board is because I'm going to put fresh flowers inside. So I really um, need it to be more sturdy. If you didn't want to do that and you just wanted to maybe just put a blanket inside or something else, you could actually do this just out of cardstock or thicker paper. So the last thing is you've got your last three pieces. And listen, I know this looks like a mess, but stick with me, we're gonna make it look great. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your side pieces. See how this goes on the side? And then this one over here will go on the side. So what you're gonna to have to do is take the matte board and we're gonna to have to do some more bending and gluing. I actually made it through this part of the project without burning my finger for the first time. Gonna add glue to the curved part and this will make that umbrella that goes over the top of the pram. All right. I'm just going to repeat the same process. Okay, now for the fun part, we're going to add the wheels. So in the craft section, I found these little toy wheels made of wood. And then right next to them, were the dowel rods that fit right inside. So your pattern will show you how long um, your dowel rod needs to be. So I've already marked mine and I'm just cutting it with uh, wire cutters. Oh, that one. Um, all you're gonna do is hot glue each end and just hot glue your little wood wheels on. The pram right on it even it out so that it's going to sit straight and just glue your wheels underneath right to the pram pram but i really want it to look really old and like this piece was found in an antique shop that's why i haven't cared about a little bit of a hole here or a mix and match i'm going to make it look really old now i found this stuff it's called dimensional effects it's by um, deco art and i found it in the paint section in the craft store So it's, what it's gonna do is it's gonna texturize the pram and it's pretty thick. And I've just got a little um, putty knife and all I'm gonna do, and I'm not gonna try to be perfect, I want this to look like a found piece. And I'm just gonna put it all over. I'm not putting it in the inside of the pram because I'm going to place flowers inside. So I'm only doing the outside and if you kind of think of frosting a cake, that's really all I'm doing. And I'm not trying to make it look perfect. All the texturizing is done and dry. So now I am going to age this. My go-to acrylic paint color is burnt umber. Whenever I'm aging anything, you just want to water it down a little bit. And then the trick is to have just a little bit of a damp uh, paper towel so that you can wipe it off. So this is how I age something. I'm just going to kind of rub it on a little bit. And before it dries, I'm going to rub it in. And then if I feel like I've got too much brown, then I wet my paper towel even more. I really just want a little bit of an aged look, not a lot. See, very easy. And then you just kind of do that all the way around until it's um, all the same aged look all the way around. Next, you just want to paint the wheels. And I'm going to paint them brown because I kind of want them to stand out a little bit. And just use acrylic paint and a small brush and you got it. Okay, do you ever squirrel when you're in the middle uh, of doing a craft project? Um, I squirrel all the time. 
anytime. But what I found was this really pretty lace in my closet and I thought, you know what? I am just going to put some lace just on the top of the pram. I guess you call that the umbrella part. I don't know. But I'm gonna glue it from here to here all the way across and just cover the top of this. So um, now is really the fun part. The last thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna add some of this really pretty lace trim around all of the edges to give it a finished look. And then I'm gonna hot glue a couple little buttons on the side. And then we're gonna put the flowers inside. Okay, now for the really fun part is to put the flowers inside. Now, I found a really, the perfect size little plastic container to hold my foam. Now, you want to use the foam that is for real flowers, not for artificial flowers. And you soak it in water um, for quite a while and then it will soak up and hold water for your fresh, flower, fresh flowers to look great. Now, I need to add a little bit of newspaper inside because I kind of want to build it up a little bit. I'm just going to set a little bit very gently in there. Now, let me show you. So I just set that down inside and now I'm going to place different flowers. Now that I've got that set in there, I'm ready um, to kind of make my floral arrangement inside of this cute little pram. Uh, fun fact. So I went to Kroger to get my flowers and I had them all picked out and the florist that works there uh, came over and said, hey, is there anything I can help you with? And I said, no, I'm good. I'm just getting flowers together. I was just kind of looking for a filler. And she said, well, do you like sedum? Uh, yeah. She goes, well, I keep that in the back. Um, we don't sell it. I just buy it so that I can make my own floral arrangements. Okay, never knew there was a storage of really cool filler in the back. So FYI, ask, they may have it back there. Okay, so the first flower I wanna start with, I'm gonna start, I usually go with the largest flowers first and then middle size and then small. And I'm just gonna fill this up with flowers, I don't think there's going to be a wrong way to do it. I mean, look at these beautiful little soft pink roses. I love them. So I really like the softness um, that these roses add and the carnations are just a little bit pinker than I want. So I'm going to use those in other decorations for the shower, but I'm going to add the sedum. Now, Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Listen, make this baby shower centerpiece your own design. Maybe some of you don't wanna to go to as much detail as I did. I just find my happy place in crafting. But go to my website and just download the PDF so that you could do a pattern and kinda of do your own thing. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna have a lot more fun videos coming out. And I hope you have a wonderful day.